that bundle. Let's see that bundle. And up you go. <laughs> He's so welcome. And so is his mother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Frank asked us to come by, and I don't think there's any better place to be than Ryan's this evening. True, true, true. Happy St. Patrick's oh, Day. Thank you, John. John, give me that splendid boy here. And you go fix his mother's drink. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Oh, he's such a love. He is just growing like a weed. Oh, overnight. Oh. Before you know it, darling, he's going to be off to school. And then it's going to be basketball and girls, and he'll be graduating from high school. Oh, and then it's college, and then what is he going to do with his life? And then one morning, you're going to wake up, and you wonder how a tender young thing like yourself could have a son. It's running for the Senate. Oh, oh the United I States. hope it doesn't go that quickly. It's such a lovely time now. Oh, it's lovely then, too. Oh, dear. I can't tell you how pleased I am that you and Francis are making another effort. I knew you would be. But I tell you, Maeve, it's not easy for either one of us. Ah, uh -huh. and whoever said love was easy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've tried so hard to stay out of it. I tell you, I should be blessed for my self-control. But I've wanted so many times to put my arm around you and tell you that I think you're a brave girl. It takes a lot of courage to trust again once you've been hurt. You really go right for the heart of the matter, don't you? Oh, oh Maeve, there are so many things that I want to tell from him, share with him. And then I just, I just can't let go. I'm scared. It's safe now. A little lonely, but safe. Mm. And I know that I can raise this little pumpkin by myself. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes. Well, it's <laughs> and hard make to a take good it. life for us. And I guess I'm just uh, afraid of letting Frank back in again. Well, it's hard to take a chance once you've been hurt, I said. Yeah, it really is. Isn't it? Well, what can I say? I believe that Francis loves you. And I believe he loves Edmund. <laughs> Oh, my prayers are with the three of you. I know they are. Thank you. What's killing me? What? I want to know what Ma's saying to Jillian. Well, whatever it is, that's the happiest I've seen Jillian Coleridge in years. Here you are, sweetheart. Fry this on for some. Oh, Johnny, thank you. Oh, look at that. Look what Mommy has. How's, uh, how's Seneca? Well, physically, Seneca's uh, making pretty good progress. Otherwise, he's... Uh, Mean and honorary. I'd say it's a fairly accurate analysis. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe he just uh, he just wants to get back to work. Mm. Yeah, well, that too. No, I think the real problem is that he's a sore loser. I thought you were a big fan of Seneca's. I am. He's still a sore loser. <laughs> and he's not taking the idea of uh, Jill and Frank very well at all. Tough on him. Hey, come on, Mayor. I feel sorry for Dr. Bullock. Well, you're a nicer person than I am. Look, he lost Jill, lost Edmund. He never should have had Edmund. Edmund is Frank's son. Listen, beautiful, loose lip. There may be some people here who are not Ryan's or friends of Ryan's, huh? Seneca had no right to pretend he was Edmund's father for one second after he knew the truth. Clem, yes? would you dance with my wife? Jack? I'm going to get her a real drink. I think she needs a little milk. It would be my pleasure. Mrs. Fennelly, <laughs> my arm, please. My pleasure, Dr. Moultrie. <laughs> well, I promised to you I'd go up and bring her down as soon as the party got started. Well, looks like it's that time. How is she? The same. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right. Johnny, mm. your uh, daughter's glass. With pleasure. Oh, have you noticed my time, Mr. Finelli? Oh, Mr. Ryan, tis a fine time. A grand time, I might say. I brought over from the other side by my son-in-law. You're here. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Hello. Johnny-o. Hello, Johnny. Oh, will you look at that, John? Oh, God bless him. <laughs> And you'll...
look. Please, you scared me half to death. Where are you? Honey, I'm sorry. Uh, here I am. Oh. I thought you heard me in the hall. No, no, I just heard you when you called my name. Oh, feel my heart. Is this like a heart attack? Oh, no, that's much better. I feel safe now. But you're not having a heart attack. How do you know I'm not having a heart attack? You look <laughs> too pretty. You like my glasses? I felt I needed something special for tonight. So Maeve went to about three different stores and, uh... I really thought it was sweet of her because she had so much work to do with the party and everything. But I, I just had to get glasses with green frames. You know, you can ask me to do that sort of thing for you. Ma has enough on her hands as it is. Yeah, she didn't mind at all, and you went to work. So, uh, how do you like them? Terrific. Uh, you sound mad. Uh, your, your voice sounds very tired. I don't like the idea of Ma being sent on errands. What's this? Uh, what? Oh, 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 it's a travel brochure. Oh, yeah, Maeve was reading this to me. I would do anything if I was able to read it. Um, hey, wait a minute. I, I just remember. Do you know about that? About what? Maeve and Johnny's trip. No. They're going on a cruise. Mother and Dad? Yeah, isn't that, isn't that super? Yeah, it's, I think it's sensational. <laughs> this is the first time that they've been alone together in a way since... Uh, maybe ever. Okay, it's... well, read this. Just read it. Hmm, luxury flight to Florida, five romantic days and nights on the cruise ship Caribbean Moon. Now, wouldn't you like to have five fabulous days and nights like that? Yeah, I think I would. Yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful? Hey, why don't we do it? What? No, I mean, I mean why don't we go on a cruise like that? No. You know, as soon as we can. No, Delia. Why not? I don't have the, the time and I can't afford it. Well, I have money, and I'm sure Bucky will take over for you, and I don't think Clem will mind. Save your money. I can't do you. No, wait. I don't think it's uh, money, or I don't think it's time. I think that's an excuse. I don't think you want to be alone with me. No. No, I think that's it. See, here's this trip uh, where you could get a lot of rest because you're all wound up, and I could get a lot of rest, and maybe I could get my eyesight back, and we could be together. And we could love each other, we could be very happy. But you're giving me excuses about time and about money and things like that. And you know what I think it is? I don't think that you want to be with me for five days. All right, leave it alone, dear you. I'm doing everything I can for you. Now, don't ask me for more than I have to give. I'm not going to ask you for anything. Okay, so just forget it. Delia, come on. I don't want to get go. up. I Let's don't want to go down to the party. I don't want to go to the party. I think you've already spoiled St. Patrick's Day, your Saint's Day, and my favorite holiday of the year. Delia, let's go to the party now. Okay. You want to give me a hand? Okay. Patty, who's downstairs? Are there a lot of people? I tell you, Maeve, on a day like this, you'd need two extra arms and hands with ten fingers each on <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Doesn't she look lovely? I do. I can't even tell. Um, Patty, is it okay if you just leave me here for a minute? I'll be okay. Sure. Maeve? What's the matter, Maeve, I I'm very worried about Patty. Sorry, you know. He's tired and he's cross. I think he needs a vacation more than anybody I know, so I suggested that we, we go on a vacation and he just chewed my head off. You know why, Maeve? No, because I don't think he wants to be alone with me. Uh, 
Now, I know all the signs. Just stop it right now. You're working yourself into a fit of misery over nothing. You're going to ruin yourself at the party. Come on. Come on with me. But, Maeve, I really don't understand it. I love him, and he's the person that I want to be with. All right. Well, I mean, I'm not ugly, and I'm not mean. I might be a little bit blind, but... All right, Dee, come on. Come on, come on. It's not awake now. This okay. is a party. Come with me. Just walk straight ahead here now. That's right. Now, you go over and stand by the edge of the bar, and I'll be with you. In just a minute. They'll be right there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Tom's much better, actually, uh, but it's a problem because he won't stay in bed unless someone's there to keep an eye on him. Oh, I wish he was here. Maybe we can bring some party to him. Hey, good idea. I don't think he's quite that good yet. Well, we'll, we'll have a recovery party for him as soon as he is ready. Yeah, that's a great idea, Frank. Nobody likes a party better than Tom. <laughs> Except maybe yours yeah. truly. Uh -huh. He's here? right here. Oh. Hi, honey. Did you go to the parade? Did you love it? He loved the parade. He wants a parade every day, honey. He rode in the front seat of the limousine. He uh, marched around. He even rode on his daddy's shoulders. <laughs> he rode on his daddy's shoulders a lot. Oh. Francis oh. and Xavier Michael Ryan. Don't you dare let me hear you complaining about carrying your own son in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Why? You, who will carry the whole length of Fifth Avenue four years in a row. Oh, no. You're worse, though. <laughs> He's going to carry you next year and the year after that. Hi, honey. Hi, Bobby. Hey, you look pretty. I do. I can't tell. Oh, oh I know that. Dr. Coleridge, would you like to dance? I don't know. Uh, who's going to tell the story? <laughs> what story? Jill? Yeah, is that you? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what story? Oh, Father McShane's traditional St. Patrick's Day story. Oh. Why don't you tell it? <laughs> no, you, you tell, tell it. it. No, you no, tell come it. Come on, now you've got to tell it. I've, I've been talking enough today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a really wonderful story. It's about St. Patrick and the Wicked King and about how St. Patrick turned the church upside down. Yeah. Delia! Delia, you nit wit, you just gave away the punchline. <laughs> I did? Yes, you did. Oh, oh, I guess I did. I'm sorry. I am really sorry no. about that. I really am sorry. Well, it's really all right, because if I'd told her, they probably would have run me out of town on a reel. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, everyone. Next year, we'll probably hear from Father McShane himself. <laughs> oh. Oh, <you're> <laughs> well, uh, look, I got to go and check on Tom. Take care, I'll see you. Well, I'll be safe. Bye, Darn, stop. Bye-bye. Johnny, thank you so much. Oh, oh darling, I'm glad you came. time. Give our love to Tom I and will. give him this little present. Oh, tell him I'll be around you. tomorrow. He'll love it. Thank you. Good night, Bye. Good night. Hey, let's hear a little dancing at this party, huh? Yeah. Everybody, come on. Yeah. That's it, join the ring. Online with NBA League Pass. Hey, everybody! Yeah. Look who's here! Ah, oh, oh, hi, how are you doing? Oh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Hi. 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 Mrs. Woodard, hello. Hey, please. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You too, Council. Right, hey, I had no idea you could make it. Terrific. Oh, we've been through for hours. Little John? Yes. I think I saw you on television. <laughs> Just a little while. <laughs> Edmund, how are you? Uh, he is overwhelmed. This is his first St. Patrick's Day at Ryan's. Ah, I know how he feels. It's mine, too. <laughs> uh, well, listen, why don't we go up to the barn to get some of Johnny's special oh, Irish? And many happy returns of the day, my dear. Slancha. Slancha. Here, say That has got to be the most attractive man, woman, and two children I've ever seen in my life. I was thinking the same thing myself. <laughs> you know, that's really where it is for Frank. No matter what else happens, no matter how far he goes, that's going to count the most, with it? Of course. How are you?
you, Ray. Oh, I'm fine, Nathan. Enjoying this very much uh, indeed, I must say. And I cannot believe Jack Finelli. Uh, <laughs> professional Irish. Oh, really? Only reason to. It's a reason to see. It's incredible. <laughs> Listen. When you're ready to leave all this wonderfulness, how about coming home with Edmund and me and having supper with us? I couldn't think of anything I'd like more. Does that meet with your approval, young lady? <laughs> well, I would love it. Head on it for you, lad. Hi, Ray. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, She'll just ask Frank to dinner. Yeah. And uh, he accepted. Oh, is that splendid? Finale. Coming, Finale. Oh. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, grab that tray. Don't you dare let that woman I serve her. Oh, yeah. No, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, serve the beer. Oh. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Quiet. Patrick, turn that machine off, will you please? Kill the music. Quiet. Kill the music. Thank you very much. Order. I'm kill it in a now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a little quiet from you too, my dear. Oh. Oh. John, a reprimand. It is a great pleasure, a great, great pleasure to introduce you to <laughs> the best thing about St. Patrick's Day at Ryan's Bar. In fact, the best thing. <laughs> About <laughs> since <laughs> any day it's Ryan's <laughs> bar, I give you Mrs. Ryan. Ah! Oh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> darling, uh, what do you want me darling, to do, I'm here. do Danny Boy. Oh, please. Oh, what a please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, strum me for it. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen and down the mountainside The summer's gone and all the roses falling Tis you, tis you must go while I must bide But come ye back when summer's in the meadow Or when the valley's hushed and white with snow for I'll be here in sunshine or in shadows. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. And when you come and all the flowers are dying and I lay dead as dead I well may be, then come and find the place where I am lying and kneel and say an ave there for me. And I will hear the soft ye tread above me and all my grave will warmer, sweeter be. And I will sleep in peace until you come to me. Oh, the Irish. Oh, that's it. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, is there a bun somewhere that I could use? Sure, love. There. Try the one in the kitchen. It's much quieter. Thank you very much. Anybody ever say that to you? That was very nice. For that includes. Yes, is Mr. Collins in, please? Sorry, my love. It's Ray Woodard speaking. Yes, how are you? Happy day of days. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you'd like a little impromptu visit from me and the man who's going to be the next United States Senator. The name is Frank Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have. Well, every one of those rumors is true. He is going to run with my backing and with the organization we put together for Bill behind him. Oh, lovely. Who do you have there? 
Ah, very nice, very nice indeed. Well, we'll be over then in a little while. Oh, and Barry, do me a favor, will you? Please don't tell the councilman that I set this up. I want Frank to think it came from you. Good. Bye-bye, love. <laughs> the most exciting thing has just happened. I had a call on my service from Barry Collins, so of course I answered it immediately. Oh, excuse me, who's Barry Collins? Wall Street lawyer, uh, lots of uh, American Irish money and connections. Oh, precisely. And he's heard about your interest in running for the Senate, my support of you, and he'd like us to drop by a St. Patrick's Day gathering at his apartment he's having this afternoon. A few people like Monaghan, Scanlon, Walsh. Seriously? No. Absolutely. Hey, Councilman, this is one of those times when a couple of hours' investments could be worth an awful lot in terms of money and support. Hey, really, if your parents don't mind, I do think we should leave right now. Yeah, of course, go. I'll go, You sure? Sure. Rain check? Absolutely. I'm going to go make my farewells. Thank you. Where you Weren't you two supposed to have dinner together? Yeah, but I have a feeling that this is the way it's going to be from now until November. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ray. Frank, goodnight. Friday, SoapNet is serving up a tailor-made Beverly Hills 90210 marathon with every guy that Kelly Taylor has loved and left behind. Take a holiday from the holidays starting Friday from 11 to 11, only on SoapNet.